Warning, if you spam, you will be banned. All right, everyone, I got a quick tip for you today on how to make extra money with this, this, and this. Yeah, you get the idea, guys. I bought some more devices, and I just want to share with you that tip exactly. You should buy multiple devices to make more money. It'll pay for itself in the future. So I just want to introduce you to my new siblings. Uh, this is my iPhone 5. You guys know it's in its crappy case. This crappy rechargeable case I use throughout the day because the battery's all screwed up with iOS 7. So yeah, iPhone 5 here. I've had this for a while. Over here, we got a new iPhone 3GS. I got it for 45 bucks. Not so bad. I'll explain uh, what was wrong with it in a moment. Wait a minute. No, never mind. There was nothing wrong with this one. Here's the one there was something wrong with. This is an iPhone 4 I got for 60 which is pretty cheap considering what they sell for on eBay and Amazon, new and used. But here's the kicker, and I don't, I don't really care. There's water damage in the headphone area, so this, um, this headphone area doesn't work. The headphone jack, and there's a bad ESN, which you don't know if you don't know what that is. To make a long story short, it means that the person who owned it before wasn't keeping up with the bill, and now you can't activate it until they clear up things with the bill. Yeah, so these are my new siblings. Now I bought Apple because Apple just always works for me. I know you guys have been suggesting some Android phones for me, and I wasn't ready to do that because I wanted to make sure I knew what I was getting. With these devices, I knew they'd work with the apps I needed them to work with which I'll explain in a moment. But in the meantime, I would like you guys to leave down in the comments some Android phones I could get. I would like a nice Android phone that isn't too much money, below $200 preferably, that's unlocked, that I can get just because I have an audience that uses Android and I would like to do some exclusive Android apps that some of you have been suggesting. It would also be nice if you could find a really, really cheap Android phone so I could just run it with Perk TV. And Perk TV is that app that you guys have been actually telling me to check out on getting multiple devices for. You can have up to five devices on one account with Perk TV, so that's a lot more money. Instead of me making $30 a month with Perk TV with just this, then I can make, oh, $150 a month, you know, over $100 a month with Perk TV, which is really nice. So please leave down in the comments if you have any suggestions. So Per TV is just one example where it benefits to have extra iPhones or extra devices, whether they be Android or Apple. And uh, another example is Swagbucks TV. Swagbucks TV changed their policy back in 2011. I read an article about it and it's where you can now have more devices in one household. Before Swagbucks TV was one account per household. This means that you have to be careful, do not, sign in to multiple accounts on your Wi-Fi address or they will find you and they will ban all of those accounts. They know based on the IP address that, hey, this thing's on the same IP and this thing's on the same IP. There's different accounts, which by the way, I'm doing with Swagbucks. So I can make instead $15 a month because you can make 15 cents a day just running Swagbucks TV for about 45 minutes. Now I can make 30. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, Never mind, it's 45 because I got this too. And since Swagbucks TV changed their policy to one account per person, this counts as a person, and this counts as a person, and this counts as a person. That's pretty cool, isn't it? So it doesn't run off IP addresses now, it runs off the serial number on the iPhone. So they just know that there's you know separate devices running separate accounts. And uh, to, to check if there's an app you wanna use with multiple devices to make double the amount of money you make with it now, just check the terms of agreement. Signs you wanna look for, are one account per household. If you see that, no, nah, no good. Unless if they're uh, separate cell phones that actually have a, a service provider on them like 4G LTE or 3G, you have data, then that counts as its own IP as one. You're paying a monthly fee for that though, so keep in mind of the cost you'll lose if you actually buy another cell phone. So if you see one account per household, don't try to hook up uh, two devices with different accounts to the same Wi-Fi. But if you see one account per person or one account per device, this counts as a person and a device. This counts as a person and a device. And those are exactly what's used in several apps that I use right now, including Swagbucks TV and Perk TV and a select other few that I'll show in B-roll of me making lots of money with. And then you can use your own referral code. See how cool this is? 
you know, uh, feature points. Here's an example I can think of. You can, you know, use your own referral code for feature points and then, you know, download apps on this and make half of what you're making on here to here, this iPhone 5 that's my main phone. So that's a really cool thing you can do. And you definitely would like, to, you, you definitely should take advantage of this. Just buy some extra cell phones. I know there's included cost in the beginning. For instance, I paid oh, about a hundred bucks for these phones right here, these extra two phones, but it's gonna pay for itself really soon in the future and then I'll be making profit off of it. So thank you guys for watching. I just wanted to give you this quick tip on how you can make double and triple the money that you're making right now with your one cell phone. Just get some more cell, cell phones. Like I said though, be careful because you don't want to violate the terms of agreement in any way. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you later.